In Dighton, meanwhile, we've learned the teenage boy believed to have been mauled by dogs was actually at the farm to look after the animals who attacked him. We're also learning that he had taken care of the animals in the past. Tashani Whitlow is live in the studio with more on this. Tashani? Ryan Hazel was a regular on the property at Maple Swamp Road, taking care of the dogs when the owner was away. Investigators are now trying to figure out how this routine chore turned into a deadly attack. You, you definitely don't feel as safe as you would like to feel. Just a few feet down the road Thursday night, a teenage boy mauled to death by dogs. Things like that should never happen to anybody, never mind a 14-year-old boy. Police say Ryan Hazel of Rehoboth was dropped off by his grandmother to take care of dogs at 2477 Maple Swamp Road, like he regularly did when the property owner was away. Grandma waited in the car, but Ryan didn't return. Ryan's grandmother became concerned about him. She called his parents to tell them he had not returned to her car. The boy's parents then called a neighbor who checked the property, only to find Ryan's body apparently badly wounded by dogs. The dogs were Dutch Shepherds and Belgian Melanois. Four were off the leash, found outside, and all 11 are currently quarantined. The property owner, Scott Dunmore, is cooperating with police. Well, it's shocking because the people jog on this road. Ryan Hazel was a freshman at Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical School. Friends say he was a great kid. They decorated his locker in his memory and planned to wear his favorite color green on Monday. At this point, no charges have been filed, and the DA says it doesn't seem like foul play was a factor. Stay with WBZ. I'll tell you how Ryan's classmates plan to honor him on Monday. Back to you guys at the desk.